Amazing. Amazonians do not hope for any death. They hope for a freedom. But it's tough. I know you can't wait. But yeah. just hold your breath. Hold your breath a little bit. Let's take this comment from a caller and then you will be giving your final remarks in that regard. No, please, please. Let's just. No, the thought in Jesus' name cannot be lost because I want us to get, keep the momentum <laughs> to end it. Please, uh, Mr. Ochiba, go ahead. Yes, uh, thank you, Director, for picking my call. Um, uh, Patterson said that we should prosecute the war and forget about them in the prison because uh, as if uh, they are dead. We need to continue with our war. We should not count on anything that can happen in La Republic. La Republic, what matters for them is the survival of their economy. They are, not, they are not even going to focus on who is going to succeed Bia or whosoever because even if it is Kanto or Bia son or whosoever, they can't succeed without Southern Cameroons. So they are going to forego anything, forego anything and embrace any leader who emerges in La Republic and combine and fight us. So we should not be pretending, I mean, uh, dreaming that, that Oh, there, are, there is going to be some crisis in La Republic. It's just the same kind of, uh, I mean, idea that you see people dreaming that, oh, there is going to be a referendum, there is going to be this. There shall be no uh, succession crisis in La Republic. What they have at, at hand is bigger than the succession crisis. Because without Southern Cameroons, be it Kanto or Colombia or whosoever, they cannot survive. So now what we what we are doing is in in, in speculatory um, uh, commentary and and uh, uh, and military war is we are saying we are even what we are saying is provoking a divide you know it's a it's a game it's a strategy and we are saying in an event where there is a divide either in ideology ideological divide political divide how can we gain from it to gain our ground they say when there is a when there's divide in the in the camp of the enemy there is probably an advantage for you to, to take there is going to be no divide in their camp and the problem okay. the reason why i'm explaining this thing is because our people believe that when they start fighting there they are going to take their military back uh, i mean from our territory you forget that la republic uh, they signed a call the cooperation with France. Even if there is chaos there, the French military are going to come in to protect the Republic. So our goal right now is that we should even forget about them. Even if they want to fight, let's forget about them and concentrate on, uh, 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 on our side. We should not even be dreaming that uh, they can fight. What if they don't fight? Are we going to be believing that they have to start fighting before we chase them away? Chase all the enablers, the bishops, yeah, the funky, the rest, all these civilian people, the coup plotters, send them out of Amazonia. Let them go to La Republic. I will continue to fight. Thank you, people. Okay. Uh, but a right on, please. Yes, listen. Let me disagree with my good friend Ochiba. From all indication, from all indication, the succession fight is going to lead into a, a, a an uprising in La Republic to come rule. That is a prediction. And I will I'm not a military man, but let me tell you what I got from Commissioner Willie. Commissioner Willie has put out two audios that I take very seriously. The first one was that every Wednesday, no, no vehicle should cross to La Republic or come from La Republic into Ambazonia. No food, no, no, no goods, nothing on a Wednesday night. From, from Wednesday, all of Wednesday, you can only circulate inside Ambazonia but you cannot cross into La Republic, and La Republic cannot cross into Ambazonia. That was his first his first audio. The second audio, which he just which just came out, he said today Saturday is the beginning of a total of a curfew in in Ambazonia from twelve midnight to six a.m. in the morning. No circulation. And 
let me say this. There is, we are boundary with La Republic du Cameroon. Our forces should be working on how to dis, how to disable the infrastructure for La Republic to be not to be coming in and leaving our territory at will. That is in preparation for what is going to take place. We have to be able to make sure that we cut off the infrastructure that divides us, that divides that are, that are between us and La Republic, and eventually, because I know. I know that there will be chaos in La Republic. Whether Oshiba likes it or not, a, a, a political scientists that I talk to, a, 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 a people in La Republic of Cameroon are so scared of what is going to happen. Let me tell you, it's not only the North. Let's look at the Betty, Bulu, and Fang group. There are three groups now. The first one is the Bulu group, led by Ayolo Mvondo, Mvondo Ayolo which is su supporting Frank Beer. The second one is the Nangai Boko group, led by Ngongo. And the third one has just been formed, has just been strengthened. It involves the killing of Martinez Zogo. And that I will, I will style that one, Bele, uh, um, uh, Amu Amugu Belenga group. Amugu Belenga has a militia which they call vision vision uh, what, what what vision 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 security is led by a retired army uh, colonel from the presidential guard and amugu belenga has a lot of connection in central africa with Theodora. and consequently with the wagner group the Russian missionaries in Central Africa. Let me tell you, anybody analyzing the situation in La Republic, and which we have to, because they are our enemies, we need to know how they, how 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 weak they are, or what is going to happen. We have to predict. We cannot just sit and say, "Oh, yeah, not the, not the about your enemy is very important." Yes, you know your enemy. So we have to start dismantling the infrastructure of the military, the administration, and even the infrastructure that leads from Amazonia into La Republic. Now, I am not a military man, and I'm not giving instruction to the military because I'm not a commander. I'm not. I don't know anything about military. You are simply talk, talking your teeth. You are just. You are just giving a comment. I'm talking like a civilian, and I'm saying. The movement of troops of La Republic of Cameroon must be brought to, must be curtailed. And there are ways of doing it. I'm not going to say it here on television. The military knows what to do. They, they, they know that they know what I'm talking about. And I tell you, this is in preparation of what happens in La Republic of Cameroon. And the last point is, if there is a chaos in La Republic of Cameroon, the military pressure of La Republic of Cameroon will be, will be reduced on us. And we can now finish do, do what they call mopping of, of, of La Republic troops that are that ever remain in our territory. We also know our weaknesses. Our weaknesses are that the Manuwa Bay is the strongest military base La Republic has in our territory. Because we don't have a navy, they are they are parading the sea, going to Manuwa Bay carrying the sophisticated equipment and doing what they are doing in FACO. Hey, the time will come when we will have to do something about that. But I'm saying if La Republic starts fighting, there will be a reduction of troops, not only from Manuabe, but from all of Cam or all of Ambazonia, and that will reduce the military pressure on us, give us the opportunity to clean up, to fight that. Even, and, even and naturally. Commissioner Willie has launched it, and I think the Ambazona Restoration Forces should act accordingly. And if they do, La Republic will get the message. And we must do our infrastructure between the infrastructure between us and La Republic. I'm not going to call names, must be such that 
the troops from La Republic will not move freely into our territory and live freely as they do now. Thank you. That's amazing. Even their creativity will be shortened.